Hello everyone, it's Angela. I'm back to show you guys my latest creation, which is this um, beautiful collage altered book that I made. The closure is a piece of silk fabric that I had two pieces left, so I sewed them together. I just thought that this cream color looked wonderful against this bronze, antique bronze uh, painted book cover. So um, the stuff that I used was this for the stain on the cover. It's a, uh, Tim Holtz Distress Stain and the color is Antique Bronze. So just really love the way that came out. So let's go inside. Oh, I forgot to tell you that I also put some tabs on sides and the top. Okay, so this is the first page here. I'm gonna go through it kind of fast. I'm just gonna name off a few of the different design makers that I used here. Uh, we have Artie Mays with her collage kit. Uh, this is Gail Agostinelli's Eco Dyed Paper. And on the back is a Roxy Creations doily. And then we have some more uh, Roxy Creations here with the uh, straw paper. Unfortunately, I had to use her digital because my straw paper didn't arrive from Italy yet, so um, I can't wait for it to get here because I love it, the color of it. And this here is from um, my old barn door or Shawcraft one. So um, those are a few of the artists that I use. I also use some of my own collage sheets. I don't have them listed or anything, um, just for fun. Some more Roxy Creations, and some more Gail Agostinelli Eco Dye. So, this is some Tracy Fox here, some more Gail. Got these little bags at Dollar Tree in the baby shower section. They're yellow. I thought they went really well with this book. I love the nice big journaling cards that an altered book gives you. This one has the top loading pocket. And that's some coffee dyed paper that I did on a muffin tin pan. Some Edith Holden on some Tracy Fox. Thought it needed something to brighten it up a little bit, so. And plus, what book is not complete without a little Edith Holden, right? Gorgeous, gorgeous books. Okay, and we have this one here. And this is uh, Shawcraft One Chanel. Um, I forget what you call it, but it's like sh little uh, squares of Chanel fabrics, and she sewed them all together and made a digital out of it. And I just love it, so of course I had to try to keep it as one piece there. And this is one of her doilies in her kit as well. It's a different kit. I am a digital aholic. Here is uh, some coffee dyed paper. That's a digital. I can continue it over here. 
And then we have some Artie Mays. Artie Mays. Some more Artie Mays. I used a lot of Artie Mays in this. I used a lot of Gail, too. And I used a lot of um, Rachel at Roxy Creations. Her digitals. Those are like my most, the people that inspire me the most right now. I'm sure it could change over time. So for right now, that's. And then this one has a little pocket here as well. I haven't put anything in it because the book is getting so chunky as it is. Got major alligator mouth going on here. This is avocado dyed paper that I bought from Wonder Bar Crafts on Etsy. And this is also right here. Um, her avocado dyed paper is awesome. It has a beautiful pink color to it. And I am so happy that I found her on Etsy because I had been looking for some avocado dyed paper. Here it is there again. And then this is a pocket here. <clears throat> and then this is a tuck spot here. You can just slip something in. And then up here is the um, pocket. Another one of those double pockets. This is a collage that I did here. This is Tracy Fox on either side of the belly band. And then over here we have Gail's collage sheet with some coffee dyed paper and a sticker. And here we have a napkin decoupaged onto a coffee dyed index card. And that tucks in there. And I sewed around all the, uh, all the journaling cards were sewn around. Some uh, tabs added, some didn't. I didn't want to, I was making the book already so chunky. Um, sorry, I think I pulled that way too fast. And some more Edith Holden made its way in with some more Artie Mays. And it's a beautiful Edith Holden tag. I just love her her paper and her book. Oh, and that's the back. So, there you have it. That is the altered collage book. Um, what did I forget to mention? The book had the CB embossed already on the cover, so I went with it. That's why I just stained it, because I thought collage book, CB, um... So, but it actually stands for Carrie Bradshaw. This is the Carrie Bradshaw diary book. So I've had it for about 10 years, I guess, maybe longer. <laughs> so I was going to be my 14 year anniversary, wedding anniversary this year. And I've had it probably as long as I've been married. So I figured it was time to repurpose it. So that's what we did. So thanks for watching everyone and we'll see See you next time. Bye-bye.